going on, y'all? What is up? What is up? What is up? It's your boy, Big Bear the Bear, a.k.a. Big Bear Bro, a.k.a. Straight Up Reviews from back in the day and also Fat Boy Gamer in the house. Oh, yes. I hope you guys are having a great day. But right here in this video, as you guys can see right here, more Switch games of my collection that I'm going to bring you guys. Real Raw and Cut. This great RPG game right here called Arista's Ascending. You can also pick this up for the PlayStation 4, I believe, and also the Xbox, but I think it's more on the PlayStation. But yeah, it is a pretty, pretty cool, you know, type of game. I was really getting down with it, lost track of it. But uh, anyways, y'all, I tend to go back on my games later on because, like I said, I'm like very, very much overwhelmed with a bunch of backlogs. And I know all gamers out there have their own backlogs. You guys hear what I'm saying? So go pick up Arista's Ascending right there. You can also get it for cheap. So, um, you know, we already know Maximum Games make pretty, pretty good games then i got this game right here called ai the solomon fires right here we're on uncut this is right here still in the package because for the simple fact is that um i think this is yeah this is the second one i never got a chance to play the first one and then when i was actually trying to get the first one it was being sold for too much as a collector's edition i told myself i said okay so when they released this one i said well, okay let me start with this one and if it's pretty pretty good i'll go back and backtrack and go get the first one as well so anyways here's a great game right there in my collection real raw and uncut and then this is a game right here that i missed on limited run games and i finally found it cheap on um i think amazon no no yeah yeah i got it from amazon for about 29 dollars. i said okay cool so this is a top down um you know um i think it's one of them um type of games where if you die and you reset uh, real raw and uncut and you got to start all over and, and work your way up to the you know to the uh, battles of the bosses up in here But yeah, this is west of the dead right there This looks like a pretty pretty cool game if you guys love top-down shooter games like that Sort of like it plays like a Diablo style type of game right there Then I had to go get this right here Final Fantasy X 1 and 2 I remember back in the day I had completed Final Fantasy um, X right there and I was so, 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 so loving the story to this one. And then when I got to X2, I tried to get through it and it was like, uh. But that was back in my younger days and I'm about to play it again. I also still have the first releasing on PlayStation 2 and bought it uh, the re-releasing on PlayStation 4. You know what I'm saying? Ribbon Uncut. And I had to bring it back to play on my Nintendo Switch later on. But yeah, so if you guys don't have that, go get this game right there. Then this game right here called Metal Max Xeno. This um, is in the package because I still have to do my unboxing for you guys. This is a, a brand spanking new game and I think it's based off um, Metal Max or something like that, but in a different type of anime, uh, anime, anime-ish world. Um, it didn't get good reviews because when I went back and looked, people really wasn't really paying attention, really wasn't really, you know, like actually feeling this game. But it's all good though, because maybe I like it. Just because this person don't like it doesn't mean I'm gonna like it. But yeah, Xeno, uh, um, Metal, Metal Xeno Max, whatever the heck it costs. Okay, Uri Kill right here. Now this right here is a, you know, full novel type of game with some, you know, little bit of um, action up into it. And I like this game right there, novelty type of game. Actually, this is my second one. I like the story because you got all these different characters up in here. They're, I guess they're, you know, um, they got uh, convicted of murders and stuff. And they have to go through these files and shit. These files and uh, scenarios and stuff. And get through it and, and all kinds of stuff to also getting their uh, um, sentence lowered or getting there um you know out of prison or something like that but um it was pretty pretty good it's pretty pretty fun if you guys like um you know um novelty style games with you know a little bit of um action up into it but it's more novelty right there as well okay so we got uh Atio sophie i'm hoping i'm saying the name right real raw and uncut now i don't know nothing about this but i picked up the other games in the past and i was like okay let me let me let me let me um you know get down with this you know fairy tale you know what i'm saying mixing potions and all kinds of stuff a cute little a cute little game that you could actually have something to chill on a sunday real raw and uncut so if you guys don't have that make sure you guys go pick that up as well then we got the crisis 3 real raw and uncut i remember when these games first got released on the playstation 3 back in the day i really didn't like them i wasn't even feeling them but hey this one right here i think was released i think no the first one was released through limited run games i think all of them was released through limited run games that's why you can't like really find these in the store but maybe later on they also have a trilogy um, version i think that's out for the playstation 4 i don't know but i got all three of these right here so 
like I said, I'm older now. I may, you know, be able to sit around and play these games real raw and uncut. Then I recently also picked up Lego Ninja real raw and uncut. Wasn't a fan of the movies, but I do like to play the Legos games real raw and uncut, like Lego Batman. So I picked that up. The reason why I picked it up because I got it for $9.99 at Best Buy like uh, about six months ago, and I had to check it out. So if anybody played Lego Lego Ninja right there, let me know real raw and uncut. I really don't get a you know custom down to like movie type of games because they always coming out. You know, kind of trashing and stuff. Then we got this game that was already released on a 3DS right there, Meetopia. This is a cool game, but it's weird as shit, though. It is strange, but it's weird, though. And I don't know why they re-released it on the Nintendo Switch, but anyways, y'all. I mean, you got your little me verses and all that, me characters that you play with, and everything just seems to be, like, lining up with the characteristics with this game. It, it, it just seems like it's real time with your character, but it was a unique little RPG game put into your own perspective way. You know what I'm saying? Real, raw, red up, cut. Yeah, y'all. So, anyways, we got the, right here, we got the Children of Morta. Now, this game got on my damn nerves. It is pretty, pretty cool. It is really, really strange. It is a Dark Souls top-down light game. And like I said, y'all, you can get so many, um, you know, far in this game. You got different type of families in here. They got different type of perks and different type of abilities. And you got to go through everything. And if you die, you got to start all over and stuff. And I, and, and it, it just got on my nerves. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong. But it will get on your nerves because for the simple fact is that when you progress far into these games... And then you end up losing. You're like, oh my gosh, I got to get all my stuff back. Real raw and uncut. But like I said, y'all, thank you for checking out my Come See My Nintendo Switch Collection. And we're going to get down with it real raw and uncut until it's over with on here with all the games that I'm bringing you guys. Oh, yeah.